Hey, g'day guys. I am doing a video today with a new product to me, which is my, it's acrylic ink and it is made by Montmart. And this is just a close up for you. I'll read you what it says on the back. It is a water resistant acrylic ink. Can be used with airbrushing, um, pouring art. You can use it with in pen, ink drawing. It is a water resistant acrylic based ink, but while it's wet, you can actually add water to it and use it as a watercolor. But when it dries, it is water resistant. You can dilute it to create transparent washes and it comes with a little mess free little um, pipette in each bottle. And yeah, so this is, this is something new to me. I've never used this product before I've never used um to be honest I've never sort of delved this direction with mixed media so we are on a bit of a learning journey together and I'm just gonna let you know straight off the bat I absolutely love this product am I perfect at using it yet no way <laughs> no I'm not but I can tell you it is going to have so many different applications. And look, I'm pretty sure that there's other things on the market. I, I remember I wanted to, for years, I wanted to get the India inks and I wanted to get the, um, the what do you call it? The Liquitex, you know, those ones. I wanted to get those, but look, to be honest, it was a budget thing and it was a cost factor for me. So when I came across these and they were actually sent to me and I thought, you know what, I'm going to, these are a pretty good price point. This is something that I could get behind. So, but I wanted to have a play. Now I've had a bit of a play in the background, you know, playing with different bits and pieces and I'm using Vicky Booten Foundations paper. Um... That's what you saw me draw the circle on at the beginning. So I'm just, this is one of the ways that I, I've done a layout similar to this before using, what did I use? I um, think I used the Distress Oxide. Maybe I used the Distress Inks, but I used a medium. I, I'm pretty sure it was, no, I think it was the Distress Inks that I used it on. Anyway, these these things are so bright. I cannot even explain how insanely bright these are. I know you guys love splatters and you know my aversion to them. Like I, I just I can't do the whole big splatty thing, but I wanted to do, I wanted to create a, a circle, a rainbow-esque circle. And I wanted to see how these held up by not diluting them at all and that's so the color you're seeing in the big splotches there's no diluting there I'm just putting it's just the packaging technique but I'm doing the kissing technique because that's something that a lot of you guys do rather than um, the way I do it you know where I I sort of crunch up the plastic and, and use it like that I will give it a crack doing it that way as well, but I wanted to use it in a way that I see a lot of other people using a technique. So you can get a general feel for how this looks. Now, I am using, I did go through, I will be completely honest with you, I did go through a little bit of paper towel with this process because these inks, they are, it actually says on there to clean it up with like metho or um, alcohol, rubbing alcohol because once it dries it's water resistant so it doesn't just wipe off with a wet paper towel you have to it, it you know that it, it just goes without saying so certain things when you use them you have to um you have to take these things into consideration so i was making sure that i was keeping all my colors from blending together i wanted to see what they actually looked like on top of the color next to them and i did go around the rain I, I did sort of keep it in the rainbow order look it is a rainbow except for i did add in the teal because i wanted to use it to show you the color like it is just stunning now you can see on my little palette that my palette that i've got sitting there 
I've got just a dot of each color there so I can do the little splatty bits because I know you guys like splatty bits and I wanted to see how it was going to go. I will be honest, I now need to clean my, I wasn't too worried, but I need to clean my desk with some alcohol, but I'm not too concerned because on the weekend, hubby and I are replacing my desk. Well, we're not, yes, we're replacing the table, but back with another plastic table and I'm putting new contact on it. And I've already got that sitting there. So I wasn't worried about the splatty bits. If you have, maybe you do this on your kitchen table, maybe you scrapbook on your kitchen table, maybe you scrapbook on your, um, on your kitchen bench, you know, I've seen Sandy, I, when she was moving, I saw her doing that, um, state goddess, like I, I, if that's where you scrapbook, you may want to just, you know, protect your surface a little bit better than what I've protected mine here, but this is dead set these colors to say they are bright and vibrant is a major understatement that they're, they're super pigmented i actually and i should have put it in the video but if you want me to do a quick tips and techniques video leave it in the comments below because this is a product that is new to me and there's like high likelihood you guys haven't seen it either because it's a new product so um, and it is made by Montmartre, which you can grab it online if you are interested in it. I, um, I think it's going for like $34 for a 12 pack of colors. It does come with browns, two brown. Um, it comes with an okra. I will make sure I get this in. I get, we'll get this right. So it comes with a burnt umber and yellow okra and the sap green black and white so it comes with 12 colors so it's plenty of different directions you can take this i went down just the straight up rainbow route because i thought you know that's something that we all like a good rainbow and it's a good way to i find it's a really good way to compare um, products and to see if that's what you like <laughs> I'm getting all excited there because it's just it's working um, so I've so with the purples obviously it only comes with one purple which they call violet and all of these inks actually have a marking on the front of them and it's a three star marking showing you whether they are fully opaque whether they are not opaque do you want to know something really exciting for me the white acrylic ink is completely opaque. Why is this exciting? You guys need to stick around for the end of the video because wowza, if this did not blow my mind, this blew my mind. What is the one thing we all strive to find? We all strive to find the perfect white splatty bit. We all use gesso, we all use white acrylic paint, all of the above, right? I'm telling you, this stuff is amazing. Now, I wanted some large uh, sort of splots, but you know my aversion with splatting, and I was a little bit cautious of this, just splashing it around. So what I ended up doing was, now I wanted to stencil with a little bit of this, FYI, unless you're going to clean your stencils with alcohol, guess what? My stencil is now black. But that's okay it is water resistant so it's not going to mix with anything else that i use so i'm not terribly concerned i will endeavor to give it a clean and let you know if the rubbing alcohol gets it off with i could probably even if i'm really clever and do it right now while i'm still talking to you so i can tell you if it takes it off why not hey um, because I do have the two products in front of me that I need. So I wanted to just put some black contrast and some white contrast on there just to see how I feel like, because I've done this technique using paint and I've done it, sorry, I'm just getting a cotton swab purely because I don't want to get it all over my hands because I've had a shower my kids are finally home from training and we've done so much stuff today it's not even funny and i'm not feeling 100 percent so 
Oh, beautiful. Guess what? Tiny bit of rubbing alcohol and it comes off lickety split. Not a problem whatsoever. Clean up, my stencil is now white again. And it took me three and a half seconds. So don't stress about it destroying your stencils because you can clean it with, I used Isocol and a cotton swab that you use to take your nail polish off because that's what's on my desk. Because, you know, due to do my nail polish again, because nobody wants to see stained inked fingers and whatnot. So yeah, that worked perfectly. Now I'm just mounting my photo because obviously I'm doing a scrapbook layout, so I'm using a photo. And, um, oh, put the stencil back. So, basically, at this point, now there is no odour with these. I, giving it a full review, I did not, I literally smelt each bottle and there was no odour. Nothing that I could detect at all. And having fibromyalgia, I'm very sensitive to smells. And I know there's a lot of you out there that are. And... I know that I've made comments about things smelling before and it's been a little controversial, but I am specifically being asked to do a review on this. So I am doing that. I'm letting you guys know that the, the colors, these, I can't even explain, you know, when you look at a color or you're watching a video and you think to yourself, I wonder if it's as bright as it is there. It's brighter. Like these colors, this is a water, this is a watercolor paper, right? So this is the Vicky Booten Foundations paper. It is, it doesn't need gesso put on it or anything because it, that's what it does. It, it, it's already got the finish for it that it doesn't need that. So these things, the color just, it just sits on top and it dries and it literally, you can just draw over it. I decided to use my Posca paint pens because that's something that you guys have, everyone has access to. Now, I did pull out my pigment pen. So my Uni, uh, what's it called? Uniball Signo Broad, my white pigment pen. I did pull that out and I did go around one of the stars because I wanted to see if it would bleed. Because one of the issues that I have when I use the Distress Oxide inks is if you go over it with a pen because it's water soluble, it will obviously, um, your color will lift. And because the pigment ink takes a little bit for it to dry, it will um, stain that white. So you don't get that true bright white. Well, let me tell you. First things first, let's look at the fact that I'm using my Posca paint pen. I did use my Uniball Signo Broad, my white pigment ink. It did not bleed. It did not change color one little bit. The star is still just as bright white as it was when I started. The black circles that I did, I just wanted to create a bit of interest over under the stars and sort of around the stars just to give it a little bit more body to the layout. This was more about the product than the layout, but I tell you what, Taylor's actually in this photo and she came down and she made a comment and she's like, oh wow, I love, what did you use? That, I love this layout. And I gotta be honest, my kids always, they're always positive with what I create. Sometimes they go, oh, that's cool. And that's it. But when I get that sort of result, that kind of, and Jen, when she comes in and she's like, whoa, when she makes those comments, it's amazing. Like, because I know she's got an eye for that sort of thing and she gets it. So basically what I'm trying to do here is I'm just going around with the Posca paint pens to see if on any, so the main reason for the circle was to see if any of the colors would actually bleed with the paint pen okay so that was what I was testing and I wanted to do a circle going across all the colors so I could test it on all the colors and it did not bleed I made sure that it was dry now the next thing I want to tell you is I used my heat tool to dry the product initially I dried the red before I put 
the orange on it and so forth and I, I sort of started and I was doing that because I didn't want the colors to mix together but then I realized you know what you're putting it in rainbow order it's not going to mix and make mud because you're not putting green blue next to orange like so it should be fine and it wasn't a drama at all but I wanted to make sure that you know the violets and the fire engine red well it's not fire engine red what do they call it scarlet oh, might as well be fire engine red um and I'll be honest with you it looked schmick like I can't even explain how amazing this stuff is and and I'm not being paid to say, give this review. This is just a straight up honest review. Okay. Um, I actually purchased, I actually purchased, the, they reached out to me, but I purchased the product so that I could give an honest review and it was my review. So just so you know, and that I'm crystal clear with that, there was no products in this video that have been supplied to me. So, um, now, I just made a really simple title because I didn't want it to sort of look... I, my brain at this point is just going crazy over what I could do next. Now, I just went around and put those white dots on there because I wanted to see what the white... It's just called white. It's not titanium white. It's just white. Um just called white and it's fully opaque and yeah so each of these bottles by the way are 20 mil which is 0.7 ounces in each bottle so just so I'm letting you know that as well now this is where I decided okay let's start doing just a little bit of extra tizzing and seeing play with it a little bit more without wrecking the layout but you know just give it a bit more play so I went around and put all those white spots around and then I decided to try and make a little bit of a more of a sparkle sort of look to it but and the reason I was doing this and as I keep saying I wanted to see if it was going to reactivate or somehow stain it or something along those lines and you know what it didn't see how bright white that is if you want bright white splatters this is your thing. This is what you need because this is the bomb.com product. Going on top of the product, I will have to try it on top of maybe a distress ink, which is water reactive. I imagine then it would probably, um, it would reactivate it and make it change color. But for the purposes of this particular layout, using these products together, it sat on top beautifully and it is crisp white. Now, I did end up going around. I did flick the camera off here for a little bit and you'll notice that there's a lot more spots on here in a minute because I turned it off because I thought, you guys don't want to sit here and watch me tizzy and fizzy like with my paintbrush. But that was just me purely and simply just trying to see if I can bring it alive and I think I think it works it works it's beautiful it's I love it I really really love it I can think of straight off the top I can't wait to use it with texture paste I can't wait to use it on top of and under texture paste I have so many different ideas in my head and I've just added a couple of little bits of bling here for you because, you know, I love my bling. And this is the layout, guys. Let me know what you think. Is this something that you... Montmart, I don't know if they ship overseas. I'm not sure. But I know Australia, New Zealand, I know you can get it. Uh, and you can order it online from Montmart as well. So let me... I'll put the link in the description below um, to the product online. And yeah, let me know what you think. What, look at those colors. They are absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. And to think I got this product delivered on Monday and I've been sitting on it for a whole week. I can't believe I waited that long. <laughs> it's fantastic. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for watching. 
and please if you have not subscribed please hit the subscribe hit the like share my channel leave me a comment all that sort of fun stuff all helps me out to be able to do things like this and buy extra products and play with them before you do thanks guys chat to you soon bye for now